Well, yes, I think I think there's an irony here because in Julia's book she talks a lot about uh, the the agenda of uh, the Pope Francis uh, papacy is towards decentralization, mm -hmm. uh, and of course the defining moment for me in Pope uh, Benedict's papacy is decentralization. Um, mm -hmm. They're basically saying that uh, people that want to celebrate the Mass of the Ages, the traditional Latin Mass, mm -hmm. clearly have a right to do so because Catholics have done that for centuries. Mm -hmm. It can't suddenly be illegal to do something which all Catholics, including, including great Catholic saints, and some Catholic saints, such as St. Edmund Campion, St. Margaret Clitheroe, and the 40 English martyrs, 85 beatified martyrs, died mm -hmm. to stop that Mass being taken away from the people of England. It can't possibly be wrong for people to want to uh, to attend uh, the traditional Latin Mass and to worship thereby. Um, and in order to bypass uh, the corrupt uh, vertical structures of the church, he decentralizes and gives that right back to individual priests. Mm -hmm. um, and and so and then uh, what we see characteristic, characteristic most recently from from the Vatican is actually taking that decentralization back and placing the power back in the hands of the hierarchy and ultimately the Pope.